assistant to the chief executive, his deputy in all but title, rose up from planning. He confides in me, asked my advice. Last year it took me on an all expenses paid trip to Barcelona. First class travel, five star hotel, the works. Sounds like you're doing well for yourself. Can't complain. Only where life takes you, isn't it? The paths you take, the choices you make. I bet we were equals at school. Intelligence wise. Great and all that. In your dreams. <laughs> and yet you become the high flyer. Off to London making a fortune. Women, cash. In your line of snort, I wouldn't be surprised. And what did I do? Stayed here, settled down. But you've got a wife, kids, steady job. I took the sensible path. <laughs> Don't knock it. The high life isn't all it's cracked up to be. Can I tell you something? Unless it involves cross-dressing. I were jealous of you. Every time I saw your name in a byline, I think, that could have been me. I could have done that. And I hated you for it. Because life's not about talent. It's about hood's path. It's about being the one to get up off his fat ass and go and make something of himself. And you did. And I stayed here. Yeah. But now I'm back. Tail between my legs. Nowhere else to go. So used to pick a screw up. I'm sorry about you, Dad. Yeah, well, life sucks. Yeah, it's a terrible disease. He was a great bloke. Great journalist. A campaigner. Can I tell you something? As long as it doesn't involve bestiality. I only left because he beat me half to death one night. Your dad? Yeah. The great bloke. Things changed. Home was awful. He was uncommunicative. We'd be walking on eggshells in case he exploded. But you wouldn't have seen that. Because the world got the other Sam. The one with the wit and the banter. He used to beat you? No. It was just this one time. But it was pretty savage. Why? I've been asking that question for the last 18 years. <laughs>